Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Let's thank our members Invictus Crazy Book Cuts uh, and our Patreons Interceptor, Richardson, Danny Cage and Rupert. And also uh, now we have, thank you all my members, you know, all my Patreons. Make sure to subscribe and now we have a donation on the PayPal and on Pix for Brazilians as well. So um, yeah, if you want to help the channel, don't feel pressured to it, but we have a PayPal now for you to donate if you want to okay so link is in the description uh just copy that and go for it uh, it is also on a button uh on the banner of the channel if you get into the channel uh and patreon as well so make sure of checking that and let's get into it so this video was actually requested by one of the foxhound um patrons so i actually wanted to make a video about this from for a long time and he actually uh, said to do it and ask, uh, not uh, said to do it, but asked me if I could do it. Uh, and now I found it a very perfect timing, right? Uh, so yeah, we are going to talk about drop tanks. We already did a video on this, but it was like earlier this year, like on January, I think. And I had like not even a thousand subscribers, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, so drop tanks, what they are, obviously... Most of people already know what they are. They are basically uh, external fuel tanks that you can take on the aircraft so that you can actually extend the range on the aircraft. Uh, they are normally accompanied by an IFR or an in-flight refueling uh, system, you know, uh, which makes it uh, have a, the aircraft have a very, very long range. Uh, and it just, just helps the normal operations of, of aircraft and stuff like that. It's called drop tanks or bags or whatever um because you can actually drop the tanks you know um the, the thing about these tanks they are the same way as a missile is uh, like attached to the aircraft you can actually jettison uh, the way that you can jettison now stuff on on aircraft you know uh you can jettison these tanks external fuel tanks as well obviously when you are getting into combat so this is very interesting. Uh, it, it is already added for a while to DCS, for example, for years and years. I mean, I don't know how many years. Since probably Flaming Cliffs 2 or something like that. Or even before, I don't know. It is a long time ago. But War Thunder, it's something that a lot of people ask for and we never get, you know? Uh, so it is kind of right there in the wish list of people, you know, uh, to do to add this type of thing you know um but the thing is we kind of don't need it yet so hear me out you know uh more most of the aircraft that we fly right now they the way that they are in the maps and stuff like that you kind of don't need you know these drop tanks are made for very long range engagements you know uh or just normal engagements but the normal engagements are already uh far away from the airfield you know and it's not something that you face in here in war thunder um, normally we are around 40 50 kilometers maybe from each other uh in the ec maps we are maybe 100 not even that so yeah or a little bit more than 100 maybe but that just be becomes a problem that we kind of don't have a reason why to add it and there is another reason to it as well uh, most of the aircraft, they don't have the fuel consumption to actually be needing an external fuel tank. But, even though I said that, we are approaching an era that this will change, okay? Uh, first of all, obviously, we have to talk about the F-14. Um, I'm showing some gameplay in there, but... It is an aircraft that you, it consumes a lot of fuel. And there is a lot of aircraft that does that. Uh, the Vegan had a little bit of a problem with that. They kind of fixed that. Now you can take full tanks and be okay. The Draken as well had a problem with that. Uh, the MiG-21 Bs had a problem with that. But they actually fixed that and it's fine right now, you know. Um, the F-14 is the only one that people tend to complain about it right now, to be honest. And even the F-14, I mean, you still can use the, uh, quote-unquote, you know, uh, stages of Afterburner. You can still use uh, the normal power as well to save fuel and be okay, you know. So it's not needed, to be honest. It's not something that, oh my god, the game is unplayable because we don't have external filters. It's nothing like that, you know. It is really just 
If it's added right now for every aircraft that had that in real life, it would be barely even used. I mean, I think if you could choose it, I mean, I would stay. stay I, I would probably fill the fuel the the aircraft itself with minimal fuel and take an external fuel tank. And then when I get to a dogfight uh, on a situation, I can just drop it and be very light and the, win the dogfight. So it can be used strategically, you know. But to be honest, we probably don't need it. You know, it's just more of a strategy thing and maybe even a, co a cosmetic thing. Doesn't mean that I don't want to be at it. I still think that we, we eventually will need it, you know, uh, or we really want it at least. Um, but it's not something that we really need right now, okay? There is more stuff that... Uh, one thing there is... Uh, it's not meant to be countering the other in development, but still, uh, for example, the RWRs, we need realistic RWRs right now, uh, because we don't have launch uh, warnings or anything like that that these more modern aircraft that we are getting into uh, had, you know? So there are more important stuff to be added than drop tanks, but I understand why people you know, complain about it. But there is a factor to it as well. Uh, I still think that most people don't, um, like, they, they normally don't take power off, you know? So it's not complaining about the people itself that are complaining about this, but like, take your, your afterburner off a little bit. It will help. And it's not something out of the ordinary. I mean, you depending on the tactic that you use, you kind of don't need to, right? Depending on F-14 even, I normally don't take full tanks with it. Um, I just take like 45 minutes, which is a, a lot of fuel for a 5 to 10 minute battle. I understand that, uh, but still it is uh, doable. Um, you know, you, you can use it and it's not that bad. So I don't think we need it right now, but I understand people that really like that, you know? Uh, but anyway, uh, let's take a look. I wanted to show to you guys what it can do on the CS actually on the MiG-29 because the MiG-29 has a very bad reputation of having very low fuel without, um, um, you know, external fuel tanks. And I just wanted to show a little bit how it is in the CS and just to make sure that maybe before we didn't need it, but we are going to get into a position that we will need it. So when F-15s, when MiG-29s, when aircraft like that are added to the game, F-16s even, uh, we might need uh, external fuel tanks just because they consume a lot of fuel. Especially the MiG-29, because in a world uh, filled with turbofans, uh, it is one of the last aircraft that actually used the turbojet engine. And turbojets are very inefficient, uh, but they're very strong. So, yeah, they're very small and compact and very, very, very powerful, but they consume a lot of power, uh, a lot of fuel, you know? So that's kind of why the MiG-29 has these problems, right? But let's take a look on the CS and we see what happens, you know? And yeah, guys, we, here we are with the MiG-29. Uh, we are going to test the consumption in the MiG-29A in DCS and then uh, pass it out to the 913 as well. We are using the 912, uh, but the consumption is the same because the engine is the same, right? It just has a little bit more fuel. But yeah, here we see a big problem, okay? Uh, I did this video, I'm just flying straight, 6,000 meter. I accelerated until close to max. Um, two, you know, very close to Mac 2. And this is a test without any uh, drop tanks, you know. And as you're going to see, I consume, I consume 3,300 kilograms of fuel in five minutes. It was exactly five minutes for me. I think it depends. Uh, I did a video on, I saw a video on the guy, on somebody, I had a turtle, I think it was. It was in four minutes, 22, but it depends on very much on altitude and stuff like that. I tried to pick it up an altitude that you would basically be a middle ground between flying really high and flying really low, you know. And normally I just climb to five to 6,000 anyway in a match. So just to have to be sure, you know. So uh, he, he basically dried it up, uh, dried the, the fuel tanks up in five minutes in this aircraft, in full afterburner. I mean, five minutes is not a long time. And normally matches already are over uh, between five to 10. So you will have to basically do a little bit of fuel saving, okay? If 
we use one fuel tank in the middle, a drop tank in the middle of the aircraft between the two engines, we get around 6 minutes and 45. I didn't actually test it. I did a calculation on the fuel consumption, but still, uh, because it's for, uh, 4,500 kilograms, um, and I just did some math, and it's five, around 6 minutes 45. And if you use uh, the full tanks, the full three drop tanks that the MiG-29 can have, uh, which makes it very heavy, and you cannot even take the R-27 missiles, um, it becomes... 6,300 kilograms of fuel and it will consume all the fuel in 9 minutes mi 9 minutes and 35, around that. Uh, the 913 is a little bit better, uh, so it has around 200 kilograms of fuel more on the spine, so it is a little bit better. But the fuel consumption is the same, so it basically means that it's this almost the same time. Uh, I calculated is around 20 to 30 seconds more only without uh, any drop tanks. Uh, so it would be like 5 minutes 20, 5 minutes 25, 5 minutes 30, depending on the situation. Uh, the higher you go, it will consume less, but still. Uh, then 7 minutes with one drop tank and 9 minutes and 50 seconds in with three drop tanks. So what this means that even with a drop tank, I mean, I don't consider using the um, three drop tanks in a MiG-29 anyway, because you lose two missiles, very important BVR missiles, and they are not really made for you to use in combat. These two extra ones in the, the wings, they're more used for uh, flying from point A from point B, you know, just um, a deliver flight or something like that, or just a ferry flight in general, you know. So the normal uh, minutes that you would have, with even with one, uh, drop tank is around seven minutes, depending on the altitude. Six to seven minutes, you know. If the the nine twelve, which is would be the German one probably, a nine um, six minutes and forty five, and the Russian one nine thirteen would be seven minutes. So that makes you kind of think that yeah, it's really not enough, right? But if you save a little bit of fuel and you know be careful with it, fuel I think it's all right. Uh, I just think that Bingo, we kind of need to fuel, consider using less power. You know, these aircraft, especially the MiG-29, they consume a lot of fuel. And because they are turbojets, they're not turbofans. So they consume a lot of fuel, a lot of fuel, you know. And especially, um, there is a, a thing that uh, the MiG-29M had around 90% more fuel than this version. So it depends on the variant, okay? More modern variants, if we get the M, for example, which was a very low production or even prototype kind of variant, they did produce less than 10 of them, they had around the twice as much fuel. So 10 minutes without a fuel tank would be around that. Uh, but that it's just a too advanced version for a MiG-29, right? I will leave the results that I did on the screen right now. But it just makes it, uh, makes you think that an aircraft such as the MiG-29 will kind of need drop tanks, at least the middle one. Yeah, here we go. Dry it up, dry it up, and fuel zero, you know? So, yeah, an aircraft such as this will be like the Draken was back in the day, you know? So, for some aircraft in the future, we will need it. But right now, I don't think we really need it. Uh, but in the future, yes, we will need it. More modern aircraft means more fuel consumption. So, yeah. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, donate, be a patron, and bye.